Howdy everyone, this is Max. Um, just figured I'd go through my EDC bag, kind of see what other people's opinions are. I have the hardest time because, I mean, you have your survival bag, your car bag, your medic bag, your dog bag, your family bag. So I'm trying to get this one geared to be a little bit more EDC oriented. Stuff that, you know, every day I do wish I would have had. Um, trying to stay away from having, you know, the six different ways to start a fire and everything as such. Because I have another bag right here that's got... Lighters, matches, flint and steel, whatever, yeah, everything like that. So uh, I figured I'd just kind of go through a couple of these real quick to see what you guys think. So this is the CLC bag. I got it from my job forever ago. Been kicking around the idea to turn this into an EDC for a while. Just because it's got pockets. It's kind of got some cool little things that are very unique to this. And I'm also very weary on how I like it just because of accessibility. And you guys will see that kind of once I open it up. He's fine. So right off the front, um, this I just kind of threw on there. Uh, it's just a little beacon. Stop my <laughs> Got the little one today, so be patient. Uh, I just threw a couple carabiners on there just because uh, something I didn't find out till about a week after carrying it. I've had these bags for years. Is there's actually little pockets for pens and stuff. So I just put a little retractable sharpie on this one. I haven't put anything on this side yet, even though I do have a pen right here. So, first off up here, there's nothing yet. Uh, this main top pocket, there's just a little rail back flashlight, some headphones, uh, just a little Gerber pocket knife, and like I said, a lighter. I didn't want a million ways to set a fire, just because I've got other stuff for that. So that's kind of what's in that pocket. And this one, I haven't figured out fully, that's just a, an almond sweet and sour bar, or sweet and salty bar. Just a little something, you know, um, just to give me that little boost until whenever dinner time's ready. Uh, this pocket right here, so I don't drink soda too much. I drink these little sugar-free packets. And they actually have 120 milligrams of caffeine in each of these little things. And you can mix with a bottle of water, uh, it's, that's what they're made for is about that much liquid. So I always carry these around and they help to get rid of a headache and give you a little extra boost. Middle pocket, of course. I've always, 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 always got extra sunglasses. I cannot stand being outside without sunglasses. So I probably have like 30 of these pairs just because I got them from work. They're just those Edge Brands safety glasses. They even have a little dust gasket in there. Work really well. I wear them all the time. And this one, which is kind of funny, is my daughters use this more than I have. Uh, just a little notebook here, you know, for whatever. And then a, another one that's got all sorts of different little posts on there. <laughs> no, no. And so, like I said, she's used it more than I have. And I just got a little pen that has, you know, stylus came from my job. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. I'm gonna open this. All right, so to get into the main spot, uh, because I do live here in Wyoming, I always do scouting, always looking at animals. So I got my pair of binoculars here, my Nikons. I hate not having those around, especially when even I'm taking my daughter to school. There's deer, there's elk, there's, you know, whitetails, antelope, foxes, eagles, everything out here. So I just, I love to view the wildlife. And, uh, I'm not sure how much of a good view this has. So we open it up. And this is kind of meant to be more of a tool bag than anything. So it is kind of hard um, to convert it in a sense and be practical. So I always carry at least one bottle of water. Like I said, my car bags, I think got like six more bottles. EMT bags got another couple bottles of water. So I always have water. Plus I carry a gallon a day. So that's never really been an issue. Um, it's just a little Ozark Trail flashlight I got. It runs off of six AAAs, super bright, 600 lumens or it runs off a of double A, sorry. And the reason I did that is so I can carry spare batteries and not sacrifice weight. I mean, it's a fairly light flashlight, it's fairly bright, and I got on clearance for five bucks. So, I mean, who cares if it gets ruined? Um, like I said, it's still in the process and stuff. So I do just have a tiny little poncho here, just in case I get caught in the rain. Um, these are uh, little eyeglass holders, but I actually keep an extra uh, CR123 battery, because that's what a lot of my everyday ca flashlights carry or use. And then I just got an iPod charger. Um, I do have a backup battery, so I have a charger for that as well. 
so I can do anything micro USB or the lightning and then I've got the wall and the phone or the car charger as well. So yeah, that all just fits in there, keeps everything out of the way. And I think down in here, so yeah, four double A's in each of those and then one box of triple A's. Like I said, now I don't have to carry D batteries around. But, uh, and then there's, there's my little backup battery. Little $5 one, pocket juice. It charges my iPhone like maybe 70%. More than enough to get a couple phone calls and, you know, some extra whatever game time if I'm just bored and killing, you know, killing time. So that was this little pocket right here. And there's another one back here. So that one's got a beanie. Nice warm one. Uh, just a little first aid kit. Nothing too crazy, just a bunch of band-aids, gloves, hand sanitizers, stuff like that. Like I said, I have my, my medic bag and stuff like that in my car or just wherever I'm at. So I do carry a collapsible bowl just for, you know, myself, my daughter. Um, I've got dogs, so it works really good to water the dogs whenever I'm around. And they've got a couple in their bag, too, that goes with me. And this is something, like I said, I want this to be more of an EDC more than survival. Um, so this is actually just a little Torx, kind of a little drill or um, screw set here for stuff like this so that I can fix any loose screws like on my knives. Super, super small bits. Uh, great little thing, bought it at Home Depot a little while ago. I love Husky because, you know, lifetime warranty. So this other side right here, oops. Uh, it's got this little buckle right here. I just threw a carabiner because, you know, throw carabiners everywhere. So as you undo this, and you know, carry a smog too. I live in Wyoming, it's cold and windy. So this whole thing actually can open up. And this is where the practicality too is because if I don't have room to do this, how am I supposed to get everything uh, conveniently? So in the back right here, so I'll lift this up, is an extra pair of underwear, socks, t-shirt, and actually I've got wool socks in there too. I'm not gonna take it up because it's a pain to get it back in. Uh, I was just, I had a little handgun in here, just a little nine millimeter. Just got some 115 grain full metal jackets. Just something to kind of tote around, you know, order the plink or anything like that. Um, this is a little Kestrel wind meter. And in the wildland season, this stays uh, in my wildland pack for firefighting. But I figured it's always good if you look at temperatures, barometers and stuff like that. And I love looking at weather and trending and stuff. And it could be very useful, especially if you've got a storm coming in, you can watch the pressure differences and all that. And then, so it's just another Orzark Trail headlamp. Um, so what I do with all of my lights is rather I'll take the batteries out or I'll put a piece of plastic in there with the batteries because the stupid things always turn on in my bags and they'll burn up my batteries. So that's why I carry, I got extra triple A's, extra double A's, you know, always just a couple pairs of extra batteries. I don't remember how bright this one is, but it does have a red light. It does have two flood LEDs. And then this one is actually a dimming dimming LED so what baby so you can hold it and it actually dims off and on it's actually a really cool little feature nope stay right there okay so on this next little flap right here got some cordage I don't know how much it is I just threw some in there yeah. um hi party come here you can sit over here I said got my daughter today she usually likes to go through me on this, but uh, I think she wants to glamour in front of the camera more often than not. So if you can kind of... Stop it! Shh, stop it. Stop you. Stop you. Owie. You're going to get in trouble. I'm going to throw you in the snow. Owie. So anyways, trying to hurry up on this. Sorry it's taking so long. Uh, cordage. I have a wedge right here that actually goes with it. Hi, TV. Actually comes with one of these. This is what I made. Like I said, I'm, I'm a firefighter. Party. I'm a firefighter. So uh, sometimes like I locked myself out of the house the other day and I thankfully I could get it with my knife. But this is like if I lock myself out of my house or anything as such. Super cool tool to have. And like I said, I use it for work a lot and I have a bunch laying around. Uh, pencil, highlighter, a bunch of zip ties, uh, voice recorder, just... Uh, just in case, oh, my camera moved. Just a little voice recorder, just to, you know, if I don't have my phone or anything like that, I can use that. I record lectures and stuff for trainings and everything so that I can go back and reference to it. Uh, an extra mag. 
An extra mag for my knife. Come over here. I'll play with your dolls. Uh, these little knives I just picked up. They're just small. They're lightweight. It's an extra cutting tool. Not a big deal if I lose it or if I lend it out and I never get it or if it just gets destroyed. I got two of these plus another folding knife for five bucks. Got a, like two or three packages of them. So I've got plenty of these things. Like I said they're just small. They're lightweight. They're kind of whatever. So on this last little pouch right here, obviously my shove knife. I have this 11 and one Klein tool. Uh, it's got screw, you know, Torx bits, uh, flat heads, a few socket sizes and stuff. Really useful. Absolutely love. I've got a couple of these things hanging around all the time. Um, here is just a little fixed blade I put up. It's a Ruko knife. Just a nice, you know, a little small one. Good just to have a nice little flex blade. Excuse me, little fixed blade around. And then, you know, always need to have eating utensils. I don't know how well you can see that. I apologize. Just a little, you know, metal sit that I had forever. I think my dad gave it to me. Um, just, you know, I mean, wife wants to get ice cream. That's about the biggest thing that I've used or wanted. needed one for. Uh, just stuff like that. It's always nice to have, especially, you know, with my little three-year-old right here. Um, you never know when she gets a craving for anything. And then right here, I did have a pair of prescription glasses because I do wear contacts and I took them out. So I got to put them back in. But So I got a contact case, uh, some lip gloss or not lip gloss, <laughs> chapstick and some flossers in this little thing right here. And it's just a little baggy. So I haven't quite figured out how much I want to put in here or not. Um, I think that's about it for the most part. We can't make cupcakes. So as you can see, let me flip this around here. Oh, I guess I can't. So as you can see, I mean, it's a pretty large thing here. I don't mind all the Barbies and stuff. We were playing house. So I just need to figure out if it's something I like to keep or anything as such, or if I need to invest in something else. I have another one of these in my car that does have a toolkit in it and it works amazing because uh, everything's organized everything's laid out so when i'm doing a uh, roadside care and stuff like that <laughs> we, um all my tools are right here so it, it's really nice hi party yeah i have a car all right so anyways let me know what you think guys let me know if there's anything you would recommend to pull in put in oh my gosh i can't talk pull in put in or take out um what do you think of the bag especially that's kind of my biggest thing and like i said i mean i want something that's more edc i mean i live in an area where i take random trips off the roads and stuff like that but you know i never make sure i go anywhere that i'm not prepared for so to have this thing set up for survival it's not my main objective but with me kind of living where i do i want to make sure that i am ready but, um like i said i do have car bags and this whole thing right here is full up of everything i need you know including my teddy bear for comfort so he's my little buddy so always at the ready i just i want something to be a little bit more convenient and a little less you know super tactical and you know bear gorilla style of six knives and 300 flashlights and everything as such oh, excuse you so i apologize for it being so long apologize for my daughter you know and the dolls and the mess it's the joys of having a three-year-old doing the best i can with uh trying to wrangle up with her and hang out and stuff but uh anyways guys let me think stay safe and uh we'll see you next time